We're going to Mexico for the Sonora Rally. We're going through tech here at the Sonora Rally, so we just got checked in, we got our wristbands, and now we're gonna take the car through tech. They're gonna make sure that we have fire extinguishers and head and neck restraints and all the things we need to uh, make sure we're race safely. I'm a little nervous, I'm, I'll be honest with you. Uh, this is all new for us. I marked up this road book last night. I feel like I've got a pretty good idea of what we're doing, but we still haven't done it before, so. I'm trying to keep the car off its roof, mainly. So it's a little different than I'm used to. I'm used to just following a line on a GPS or following my co-driver that's following the line on the GPS. I cannot control the direction we're going unless Harry gives me a direction. So I know that when we can go, when we have a direction, it's good to go fast. The rest of the time we gotta learn to be real patient. You know, one thing that we've always been taught being the race car driver is constantly moving. Don't ever stop, just keep moving. In this case, if we're moving in the wrong direction, we're going slower. How was the navigating today? Uh, it was rough. Made a lot of U-turns today, and yeah, I'm definitely still learning how to read that road book. It's not second like nature yet. Oh. Uh, today they tell us it's big noon day. Uh, kind of reminds me of the first time I went to race at King of the Hammers. I didn't even know what whoops were, and we had to learn the hard way. Uh, I think it's about saving the car. If we can keep it off the roof, not sliding through one of the sand dunes sideways, and keeping it from bottom of the suspension out in the nose, I think that'll be good. But there's gonna be a lot of lessons, a lot of communicating with me and Harry to try to figure out uh, uh, how to get through today. So, still waiting on Ben and Harry. Uh, this is the second assistance point on stage two of the rally. Hopefully everything went all right. They had a little bit of a uh, vibration in the rear drive line that we were talking about earlier this morning. Um, and we're a little bit worried about their fuel economy. They should have four gallons by the time they show up here, but that's only if they uh, have stayed on course the entire time. Right, right, right. I said it like 10 times. by Manx. I passed by everybody, really. In the sand dunes, everything was the same color. We had no depth perception. And we're driving in circles like this, just trying to find where we were going. The car would drop away from you, you didn't know when. The car would raise and you didn't know why. And I think at one point in time, we both realized that we were completely in the wrong direction and we were not on course. We both didn't even talk about it. <laughs> just we went. just we, we knew we were on a road. road? <laughs> we were on a road and there was I nowhere else to go. Hold on, we're going to take a left over 90 degrees in less than a kilometer. Yep, there's your left. Oh, 
made up today. Uh, yesterday, like we mentioned, sand dunes are not anything we have much experience with. Whereas today was complete opposite. This train we've done before. Uh, there was real marbled out dirt roads. There was some G outs in the washes, but stuff that you could check out for and still catch or just throttle through it and just hope you could float through. Um, we did have some sand dunes today. We took what we learned yesterday and applied it to what we did today. You set the car up in the, in the dirt roads. It was nice and loose and you could just flip it around and make all the corners. And we hit some cactus. We hit some trees. It was a good time. This is the part of Sonora Rally that I was really looking forward to, and we got to experience it, so I'm really happy about that. We're in Puerto Libertad, starting uh, stage four. More like yesterday, rally roads. The navigation will be a little easier, which helps. Makes it a lot more fun when you're doing well. You gotta keep your ears nice and slimy to slide these things in. We have a dip in a kilometer. Oh. Tree. And rock. Another tree. <laughs> Go home with your friends. <laughs> so then we're going to stay right at the next Y, which is, I think, probably about here. Yep, go right. No more cautions for the next kilometer and a half, but we only got front brakes, so right. keep that in mind. I mean, each day I think incrementally uh, the communication's getting better. You know, the cars always been fast, that's not an issue, and it's still in one piece, which is pretty impressive. We spent 40 hours on this race car this week, and it, uh, yeah, it's good and bad, you know? It doesn't hurt my feelings to get out of it, but at the same time, you get a lot more comfortable the more time you spend in the seat, right or left. So it's the last day of the rally. We're going from Quino Nuevo to Hermosillo, and, uh, Ben and I both uh, woke up in the middle of the night with food poisoning, so he's got it worse than I do, but it's going to be a rough day today. Luckily it's a short stage, it's only 130k, but it's not that short when you're uh, trying to keep your guts in. Yeah, I think at this point on this stage, we're just trying, we're in survival mode. We want to be safe on our way to Hermosillo, and then hopefully we'll be feeling better and we can celebrate with our team and our new friends when we get there. No guacamole! from a fire hose trying to learn about all this stuff, but <laughs> good to be here. It feels pretty fun right now. So. Good. Well, good. Congratulations. Yeah. We really appreciate you coming, and it's been awesome to have you both here. So it means a lot when you guys do that. So I think you can spread the word about the event. Yeah, I think, I mean, I think an Ultra 4 car worked really well. Yeah. So the Navigator was the limiting factor for sure. <laughs> but the car is fast, bed was fast, you know, and they're made to do rocks, desert, whatever. So yeah. rally rate too. Now we gotta drive home!